All right, so <clears throat> just brought you into uh, the heat plus the room, my crafting room. So that's where that's the view you see right now. I'm supposed to be working. So I printed. Don't mind this picture at the bottom. That's for another project for for order. So here we go. Since it's legible, I can read it in the. Uh, screen that means that it has been uh flipped horizontally mirrored because you're supplementing you got a mirror so it says um here's your crappy gift it's gonna hey um i don't know honestly i can't read it maybe i should put some light on the situation maybe that'll help ah i still can't read it so we'll just go ahead and move forward so let me cut them, them out and again this is 3.5 by 3.5 which should fit perfectly in the middle of the tape of the uh, toilet paper so some people are doing like two per roll two like doing two uh, of these per roll but I'm just going to start with one and see how it goes so let me grab the toilet toilet paper. Uh, hopefully I got the right kind. So Dollar Tree, I got Scott. Maybe I should have got a cheaper brand. This feels like um, uh, paper towels. So hopefully this is okay. So the key from what I understand though, is that the, your pressure has to be really, 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 really tight. Oh, this is nice toilet paper. I'm gonna have to start getting this. So very thin, obviously, right? So we're gonna need some butcher paper because you don't want it to bleed on your mat and you don't want it to bleed on the top. So let me just cut a few pieces. So just gonna cut this in half because it's only this big so how much do we really need right i'm only doing one at a time so this is what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna have this here so this is one two three four i'm going to do one two three i'm gonna do it on the third so that i can wrap it back around together so I need some tape, so give me one second. Oh, this is where this stupid skinny tape may come in handy because this is so teeny tiny and small. Now I finally have good use for this tape, okay? So let's do this one. So you always got a tape because you don't want ghosting. So let me find this right square. It looks like, yeah, make sure you get on the square. Okay. So when you tape down, make sure you tape onto the butcher paper. You don't want to tape onto the toilet paper because when you pull it up, it'll probably most likely rip. And who's going to want that? Let me get another piece of the skin tape. That's on me. Okay. It's not rocket science. So there's that. So then I'll put this on top so as not to get on my heat press on the top. And the temp is 400 for 60 seconds, okay? <clears throat> High pressure. High pressure is supposedly key here. This is my first time we're doing it together, okay? Ooh, it really is pressure. Oh, you really got to press down when you turn it up. I've never turned it up before, so okay. Keep that in mind. You really, really, really have to have deep pressure. So my my uh, thoughts always when I do some of these things is that God in heaven, please don't let this catch on fire. I mean, it is toilet paper, right? I have my fire extinguisher right behind me, but I can't guarantee I won't panic. Holy Spirit, activate. So we're down to 25 seconds. 
fingers crossed that this works out perfectly because this is pretty pretty simple and hopefully will take off and not only is can it be done for christmas you can do it <clears throat> excuse me for valentine's day you can do it for what's next some sort of mother's day father's day any sort of a gag gift right the sayings will come out i'm sure so Look at that. I still feel like that's a lot of ink left on here. You see that? I mean, we can see through it, but I feel like that's a lot of ink still left in here. But. Whew, look at that. These colors look better here. Ooh, I'm gonna need more butcher paper. It's slightly come through. So double up on the butcher paper, y'all. All right, that's, that's, it came through here. Probably because of the pressure. I've never had pressure that tight before, but, so, no pun intended. So let me wrap this back up. This is good toilet paper, y'all. It feels nice and thick. So now I'm gonna wrap it up in um, some of the baggies that I got. Where are they? Dollar Tree. This says look, it's a loot bag. So let's see what this, uh, what I'm working with here. Which I imagine is what kids use, or they use for kids' birthday parties. Carefully, it's big enough. Y'all, y'all better do this right now, okay? I'm gonna put a wrap and I have, um, you know the wrapping that you have when you put on gifts right around it? This is going out, I'm putting this up today. So, to reiterate, Dollar Tree toilet paper. I use this, Scott, it's working out perfectly. And if you want good toilet paper, you probably can just go there and get it for yourself. This is nice and thick but I'm gonna use it for this. This loot bag, straight from a uh, Dollar Tree. And if you're already doing sublimation, you have the ink, $5. So you just paid 25 cents for this roll and you sell it for $5. What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? You can sell them two for $2. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> two for $5 and you're still making a mint, okay? So do this now, okay? If you got an event coming up, it's quick. How long did it take me? This is a very short video. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, hopefully I covered everything that you need. I'm gonna be doing um, a lighter um, tutorial. I'm gonna get that up hopefully today as well. Do this now! Real quick, very simple. Jump on it before everyone else does, y'all, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Keep crafting, follow, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, all right? Share the video, let everyone know. Come here and watch this tutorial. All right, thanks guys.